they haven't barked all day and then when I sit down to film is when they start barking. Just like old times. She's agreeing. Hi guys, it's Ivory. Today I'm gonna to be doing a two-day wear test on the Makeup Revolution Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. I'll be showing you how this applies initially as well as checking in throughout the day to show you how it wears. For anyone that's new, my skin type is oily and acne prone, although I will say because it is January, my skin is a little bit more normal to oily as of right now because it's it's winter and also as far as acne if you've been here a while you know i have been through quite a journey so although i don't really have any active breakouts i do still have like some blemishes down here i have a lot of acne scarring texture hyperpigmentation so even if i didn't really have acne i still have plenty of other obstacles that i'm working with and the last thing is that even though this is a two-day wear test i don't wear this for 48 hours straight i'm going to be wearing this for 10 hours each day taking it off at night and then reapplying it the next day i'm going to go on with primer on the entirety of my face i know in the past my wear test i've always done half i'm changing things up i would like both sides to have the same playing field so i'm using the elf power grip primer but what i am going to keep the same is on either side of my face i'm going to apply the foundation with a spun oh i did that backwards with a brush and then the other side is going be with a sponge just to see how the foundation applies with two very common applicators. The sponge that I'm using is the Juno & Co microfiber sponge and the brush that I'm using is the Sigma Multitasker which is the F47. The foundation is a lightweight breathable foundation for subtle coverage to build that second skin effect. It claims to have light to medium coverage and is perfect for all skin types. It is a soft focus radiant satin finish that blurs imperfections while letting your skin shine. It has hyaluronic acid and peptides. It is cruelty free and vegan. The bottle contains 0.77 fluid ounces and retails for $14. Okay, so this is one layer of the foundation. I use the shade F12. If you and I are foundation twins, I don't think I need to say it, but I, I'm gonna say it. Don't get the shade. This is what I get when I online shop for foundations. The wrong shade, every single time. Right away, I can tell that the coverage was way better with the sponge side, I would say it's like medium almost. And then this side is light medium. You can see at the high points of my cheeks that there is a little bit of a shine, like a radiance to it, which I think is nice. The foundation itself is very liquidy. I like how lightweight this is. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing makeup, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a second layer to see how this builds up. I'm kind of only applying this to the areas where I would like a little bit more coverage. So just primarily on my cheeks. All right, so this is two-ish layers. I really just added a very thin layer. Like with the sponge, I just used what is residual on the sponge. I didn't go and dip in more product. I just kind of concentrated whatever is remaining onto my cheeks. But overall on two layers, I would say that this is a light medium to medium coverage, depending on how much you have to cover up. Like I said before, I don't have any active breakouts. If you have been here for years, then you know what my face used to look like like two or three years ago where I had a ton more acne and redness. So I think if your skin was how my skin used to be, this would be light medium coverage for you. Whereas if you have skin like me right now where it's mostly clear, you could get away with medium. I don't think you'll be able to get away with full with this foundation unless you already have perfect skin. But I do think it looks really nice the color let's just put that aside I think I can save this we'll see but I'm gonna try and save it by adding lighter products the rest of the products that I use are not new whenever I do foundation reviews I make sure that all the products that I use are things that I'm comfortable with and I know work well for me so that if my makeup doesn't look like it's going really well then I know it's the foundation's fault and not my other products because those are tried and true and of course, all of the products that I list will be in my description box below. I did already wear this foundation yesterday, only for a couple hours. I think I wore it for like four or five hours because whenever I get a new foundation, I always want to just make sure it's a good match for me foundation wise. So I knew going into this that the foundation wasn't going to match me. So what I did yesterday that helped was I used the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. It says translucent, but as you can see, like the foundation already looks like it matches me a lot better because it does lighten up the foundation. So this is what I did yesterday and it worked fine. Like I said, I only wore it a couple hours, so I don't know how it fully wears in like a 10 hour setting. I wouldn't normally powder this heavily. I used to back in the day, but nowadays I just powder where I get the oiliest versus all over the face. But because I really just don't wanna go walking around with a foundation shade completely different from the rest of my body so that is the only reason why i'm powdering this much today and as you can see as i wipe off the powder it helped 
it needed to be done. All right, so this is my makeup all complete. I did set it. I used the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. For the most part, I would say everything looks really good. The only thing is this area of my face is currently pretty dry just because I put a topical from my dermatologist. It's tretinoin. So this is kind of a little bit drier and it does cling a little bit. Hopefully when my oils come through, it'll smooth things over. But on a first application, because it's a little bit drier here, I can see it looks a little bit dry. But from this distance, not too bad at all. But that is it for now. I will come back around the halfway point to show you how it's wearing. All right, we are at the five hour mark. Oil wise, I think we look great. If it was up to me, I wouldn't even blot, which is a huge plus because typically the foundations that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't ever blot. So the fact that I don't have to blot right now and I, I feel like I don't look too shiny is terrific. From this distance, it looks pretty good, albeit orange. It doesn't look like it when I look in the viewfinder, but if you saw me in person, it's it's giving Jersey Shore. But color aside, I think oil-wise and just overall appearance, it looks really good. The cheeks are like really nice. Um, I'll zoom in in a second, but the nose, really smooth. Nothing is separating, nothing is collecting. There's a car outside that's really rude. There's no foundation like settling in the cracks. There are some areas where I'm like, of course, it's the same areas that I always have a problem with for a lot of foundations, which is the center of my face right here, up in the T-zone, and this mouth area, oof. Right here, where I would like scrunch up, you could see that the foundation has settled in a lot of those lines. Here, my smile line, it sorta has settled. It's not too bad. I think that'd be pretty easy to buff out. You can see it's like settled in a lot of my fine lines. Fine lines that I wasn't even aware that I had, but this foundation found each and every single one of these fine lines and like really sunk into it, like cling wrap. So I would say like out of my whole face, the chin area is the part that I am not really, I don't like that. I'm just gonna try and buff some of this out. If I didn't have my sponge handy with me and I was like at work or something i usually would just use my finger and buff that out you know what i'm gonna try and do that first and see what happens here and i'm not swiping to so that i don't lose any coverage i'm just really patting it in and like doing like a rolling motion so i'm gonna do it up here on my upper lip too since it could look better <laughs> Oh yeah, that is so much better. Doing it up here is a little bit trickier for some reason. The foundation is kind of lifting off. So I'm just gonna try and use like a sponge and see if that does anything. I'm gonna try this foundation again tomorrow. But what I'm gathering here is like in the areas where I have fine lines maybe on top of my normal primer, which is the Power Grip, I should add a pore filling primer in like these areas and see how that helps tomorrow. Cause the Power Grip primer just helps makeup stay on longer, which you know, it's Doing that right now and it's good in that aspect but it doesn't really help smooth things over so tomorrow i'll add a pore filling primer in conjunction with my power grip all right so i use the sponge in the middle it's not perfect by any means but it is an improvement everywhere else that i had an issue with which is just the mouth area it was easy to smooth that over with just my finger which is not a big deal to me because you know sometimes when i'm wearing foundation and i like go into the bathroom and check up on myself if i see it settle a little bit there are plenty of times where i just use my finger and just kind of buff it out so so it's not a deal breaker by any means. Right now, I feel like the foundation is pretty good. And the other thing I wanted to say is this foundation feels super lightweight. Like the, the formula is very liquidy and I don't wear a lot of makeup. Like there are days where I go to work and I don't wear any makeup at all. So because I don't wear makeup as often when I do put on makeup, it feels heavier than when I used to wear makeup all the time because like my, my face was acclimated to it, but I'm not as acclimated anymore. So whenever I wear makeup, usually after like six hours, it feels really heavy, like almost like claustrophobic feeling at times, depending on how thick the formula is. But this foundation, I don't even feel like I'm wearing makeup, honestly. That's all I wanna say for now. I will. See you at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts of day one. All right, we have reached the 10 hour mark. I did have to blot my nose just because I ate something spicy and then I, my nose is running. So like I dabbed this area with the tissue, but the rest of the face is untouched, undisturbed. As far as oiliness, I do see that I'm shiny, but I, I kind of like it. I feel like more than anything, it's glowy versus like greasy. So I still think oil wise, like this foundation does pretty great. And even though, like I said, I did blot my nose just with the tissue, it's perfect. Like you can't even tell. No foundation was removed. It looks undisturbed. Like even when I was putting the tissue on and I like looked at the tissue, there was barely anything on the tissue. Like it, it's pretty good with transfer. Let me just test it with a, a blotting sheet real quick. Like look at that. I got rid of the oils and there's no foundation on the actual sheet. Like that's witchcraft. 
this is witchcraft. But the areas that I was pointing out at the five hour mark, they have returned with a vengeance. So the chin looks pretty cakey. You can see it is settled into my smile line. My T-zone looks about the same as it did at the five hour mark. I'm losing my voice. Not too much has changed, but this area doesn't look too great. So I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge and kind of buff that out again. I think it's also a lot more noticeable how it's wearing because this, this is not the right shade for me. When you get the right shade, even if a foundation is bad, it doesn't look nearly as bad if it's the correct shade. So it might have looked better if this was the correct shade on me, but I am a consumer. I don't consider myself like an influencer of any kind. When I buy foundations, I buy one shade. I try my best every single time to get one shade that I think is gonna work for me. Cause if I like sample all of them and the foundation doesn't work for me, then I return three bottles of foundation. Let's say if I tried three different shades that no one else can use, like they're gonna throw it away. So it just seems really wasteful. You get it. All right, so like buffing this out with a sponge helped a little bit. It's still makeup-y looking, especially comparing it to the rest of my face because like the cheeks are very seamless. Like my nose especially, it's so smooth. This is the only area specifically where it really just, it's making me sad. That is it for day one. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We are at day two of the wear test. If it looks like my face is a little bit darker than yesterday, it is not your eyes deceiving you. Last night, I used the self-tanning drops from the Isle of Paradise. This is in medium. So I am a little bit darker because I want to be a little bit closer to the foundation that I picked. I already put on the Power Grip Primer and then now I'm going in with the e.l.f poreless putty primer. I'm gonna add that into the areas where I was seeing issues, so like on this side, and then also, you know what? Let's um see how much product, yeah, this is too much product. I'm gonna put the rest over here, and then on the upper lip too. I'm gonna go in with my microfiber sponge for the entirety of my face today since I preferred the coverage that I got from that. I went in with about two pumps and I'm gonna go in with only one layer of foundation today because foundation just wears a lot better and it doesn't break down as quick like the less products you have. I wanna give this foundation a fair shot and do everything I can to help it. All right, so I didn't even need to use two full pumps. I should just put down one. I think that would have been enough to cover the entirety of my face. And to not disrupt the T-zone and the chin, I'm not gonna add concealer there this time. I'm just gonna add concealer down here. Cause today I wanna see how it wears on its own without concealer on top of it. Although, you know, on a normal day, I would add concealer there. All right, so I did the rest of my makeup off of camera. I kept it really simple because I'm staying in today, but I can already tell just adding the extra primer made the foundation look so much better. So this is an area that I had a problem with yesterday where it kind of looked makeup-y from the beginning. Like it was faint lines, but the foundation was settling more and more as the day went on. It looks a lot smoother here today. And then same thing in my T-zone. There's a little bit of settling, but not to the same degree as yesterday. So this seems promising, but that is it for now. I will check in in a little bit. All right, we are at the five hour mark. I'm gonna get up close in a second, but I can already tell the foundation isn't settling nearly as much as it did yesterday. Is it just me? I don't know if I'm just tripping. I feel like I'm just a little bit shinier at today's halfway point than I was yesterday. I could be wrong. It's not bad. I just feel like I'm, I'm just a tad bit shinier today at five hours than I was yesterday at five hours. But I do think that the areas I was having issues with are handling this foundation a lot better today with just one layer of foundation, no concealer under it. On this side, it seems to be settling a little bit more. I don't know if I just have like more wrinkles or fine lines or whatever on this side versus this side, but I can see it settling a little bit more on this side versus this side. This side looks pretty good. My upper lip yesterday, I could see those little holes where my facial hair would grow and I'm not really seeing that today. My chin, which was the problematic region of this wear test is holding the foundation a lot better. I do still see it settling a little bit but not to the same degree as yesterday. I do feel like a reason why it's not as noticeable or it's like wearing better could be because I put self tanner on my face last night. So the skin underneath is not as much of a contrast as yesterday. So I do want to acknowledge that that is also a possibility or a contributing factor. But at the same time, if you are going to buy a foundation, I would assume that you're buying it as close to your face shade as possible. But from what I can see, it does look like today it's wearing better from adding an extra pore filling primer. I didn't blot yesterday at the halfway point, but I'm I'm gonna do it today because I did feel like today I'm just a tad shiny. The blotting sheets that I'm using are discontinued but I will go ahead and list an alternative that I actually prefer in my description box. That is just what I needed. I feel like my makeup is totally refreshed. There's barely any foundation transfer on my blotting sheets. Like that 
is crazy. So this foundation does really well with touch-ups. I will check in at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts. All right, we have finally reached the 10 hour mark. Oil-wise, I think I'm a little bit shiny, like I would blot again. I'm not gonna bother right now just because I'm about to take off my makeup for the day. But I feel like oil-wise, yesterday's day was a little bit better. Like I was less shiny. But I don't think that this is bad by any means. I just feel like when I compare day one and day two, today was a shinier day, which is weird because I did not leave my house today. Whereas yesterday I was way more active. Not a lot more active, but slightly more active. But I will say that the issues that I saw yesterday, it's still happening, but to a lesser degree. You could see the chin looks less makeup-y, but there is still cracking happening. My upper lip is a lot better yesterday. I could see like those little dots. I don't really see them today. There's a little bit of foundation collecting in my smile line right here, right there, this line. In the T-zone, there's mild settling, very much an improvement from yesterday. So my final thoughts on the Skin Silk Foundation. So as far as being oily skin friendly, I think it is. I think if you have oily skin, that this foundation will do pretty well for you. As far as like acne prone skin, I don't know because I was able to get this type of coverage with one layer, but 2020 me wouldn't have liked this foundation because I know that struggle all too well when like a foundation says it's medium coverage, but then I try to put it on me and it's just sheer because I have so much more to cover up versus now my skin is in a totally different spot. So I think if you had acne the way I had acne in 2020, I don't think you'll like this foundation because if you're looking for that type of look where people with perfect skin put on that tinted moisturizer where it just kind of cancels things out i don't think you're gonna get that i think people with a lot more acne are gonna put this on and just feel like it did absolutely nothing like it won't cancel anything out so you might as well just have not put any foundation on if that makes sense but the things that i liked about this foundation is i really liked how lightweight it is like this whole day i felt like i wasn't wearing any makeup this is great with touch-ups on day one my nose and my cheeks just immaculate and when i had the blotting sheets there was no transfer the only thing that's keeping me from confidently putting my stamp of approval on this foundation is the way my chin wears. The cracking kind of bothers me and that's pretty much it. Just like certain areas that are typically problematic for me, it doesn't look so great but it also doesn't look super bad either. When it comes to makeup products, if I feel like I can make it work, I won't return it because I'm just really lazy. But if I feel like a foundation is just absolute dog shit, like I don't even want this in my house, I will make the trip to go to Ulta, Sephora, or wherever and return a product. For this foundation, I feel okay keeping it. I think I can still get use out of this. I still have hope for this product, so take that as you will. I do feel like the foundation is at least worth trying out. I wouldn't put it at the top of my list of recommendations, but it might be like in the middle of my recommendations or something like that. I don't know if that helps you. That's up for you to decide. I'm just a canvas or like a lab rat where you're trying different products on and you have to decide whatever's happening to me if you want that to happen to you or not. <laughs> But I hope that this review was helpful, insightful, or at least entertaining. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.